Welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis, and in this video, we will show you a couple of ways to quickly find people on your contact lists and emails using Outlook 2016. When you open Outlook, you will be on your home page. This is the page you see on the screen right now. Now scroll over to the right to the find section. We're going to use this section to find contacts on our list. In this case, we're going to click on the search people and look for a chap by the name of John Smith. So we begin to type in his name and his name fully appears automatically. Now let's click on his name. And there you have his contact information. There's another way to do this. Let's close this one. And this time we're going to click on the address book. When we do that, we can then find the name we want, John Smith, double click that. And now you have a complete page of all the contact information on John Smith. We can add more information. We can edit it if, if we think it's necessary. So now we have all the information we need. We have found the info on John Smith. And this is a straightforward, easy, quick way to do so. Now we want to show you how to filter your emails. First, scroll over to the Find section, and this time, click Filter Email. Many options appear. The first one is unread, which means if you click it, it will show all the emails that you have not read. The next filter is to show you all emails with attachments. The next filter shows you any email you received this week. Remember we talked about categor categorizing by color coding. When you click on this filter, all the green files or red files will appear. If you click on the flag, the filter will show you all the emails that you flagged as well as any email that you want or considered it to be important. These are all the options that are available. Now let's say we want to find an email we received with an attachment about monthly sales. So the first thing we do is click on attachments. And there they are. All the emails we have ever received with an attachment appears in the box. But we want to find a particular attachment about sales. So we click on the down arrow at the at this week section and you can see there are timelines. You could get the ones you received today, yesterday, this week, last week. We recall that it was at least this month, so or last month. So let's click last month. Now we need to tell Outlook where we want it to look for this file. So let's click there, and you can see it could be the current folder, subfolders, current mailbox. Let's click on all Outlook items. And there it is. The one email with the attachment about sales graph. So we click on it, and that particular email we were looking for appears. There it is. We sure enjoyed making this video. Hope it was helpful. Use the comment section below to let us know what you think about the video. Also, please remember to subscribe. That way, you will automatically receive our new releases. And if you would like to support Burn to Learn, please visit our patron page by clicking the link below. In our next video, we're going to show you how to send and receive emails using Outlook 2016. Thanks for watching. See you next time.